Welcome back to RuneScape Classic, everyone. Today we're going to be doing the Gertrude's Cat Quest, mostly because I just want to see what cats are like in RuneScape Classic. I'm a little bit curious. It's one of those things that kind of amazes me. It actually existed way back in these early days. But anyway, I've done the arduous journey to gather the items needed for this quest. Now we can go ahead and start it. Hello, are you okay? Do I look okay? Those kids are driving me crazy. Oh, those kids drive me crazy. I'm sorry, it's just I've lost her. Lost who? Fluffs, poor Fluffs. She never hurt anyone. Who's Fluffs? My beloved feline friend Fluffs. She's been purring by my side for almost a decade. Please, could you go search for her while I look over the kids? Um, well, I suppose I could. Really? Thank you so much. I really have no idea where she could be. I think my sons Shylop and Willow saw the cat last. They'll be out in the marketplace. Alright then, I'll see what I can do. Those kids are jerks, but we gotta go deal with them for this quest. Because I'm not allowed to give my omniscient time-traveling powers to my character and just say, I know where the cat is. Nope, we have to follow the rules and talk to these stupid boys. And give them my money. Get a cat. Okay, Shylop. Hello there, I've been looking for you. I didn't mean to take it, I just forgot to pay. What? I'm trying to help your mum find Fluffs. Oh, well in that case, I might be able to help. Fluffs followed me to my secret play area. I haven't seen him since. And where is this play area? If I told you that, it wouldn't be a secret. I thought Fluffs was a girl. Why did he say him? Um. What will make you tell me? Well, now you ask, I am a bit short on cash. How much? A hundred coins should cover it. A hundred coins? Why should I pay you? You shouldn't, but I won't help otherwise. I never liked that cat anyway, so what do you say? You know, other NPCs act like even like ten coins is an amazing amount of money, so this kid's like a millionaire after this. Okay then, I'll pay. There you go. Now where did you see Fluffs? I play at an abandoned lumber mill to the north, just beyond the Jolly Boar Inn. I saw Fluffs running around in there. Anything else? Well, you'll have to find a broken fence to get in. I'm sure you can manage that. Now I just gave him the 100 coins, apparently. Oh well. Now I only have 62. I also have like 41k in the bank that I... I don't even remember where I got it. I assume some player gave it to me. But it was a long time ago. It's very useful, though. Just have that money. Would have come in real handy if it wasn't about to get deleted. It does make me curious. I wonder if they will actually just delete everyone's save data, or if they'll store it. It's not like it'd be that hard to save this, and then maybe someday bring it back. But the question is not how hard it is, but whether or not Jagex will actually do it. And uh, we just won't know. So somewhere up here, the lumber mill should exist in... A roughly familiar location. Well, I don't know what these trees are about. This is weird. Not sure what's going on. Where even am I? Or is that the lumber mill there? That might be the lumber mill there. And then that weird tree thing would then be the statue? No, that's got to be the lumber mill. I don't know what that was. Yeah, that's the lumber mill. Okay, so is the broken fence over here somewhere? A broken fence anywhere? Are you extremely visible or hard to see? I don't actually know. I mean, there's the wilderness. I don't really want to deal with that. Still, the broken fence not in the same place anymore. Well, was it not in the same place always? Okay. If my character would actually walk, that would help. It's always been over here, from what I remember. Long, long ago. Maybe that wasn't always the case. Maybe I'm just missing something. I mean, there's no construction guy here, so maybe they moved it when they added construction. Although, I think I would remember that from back in the day. Ah! 
search the low fence here. It was on the exact opposite side. Interesting. All right, so search this crate here. I don't know if I'm actually looking for something. Maybe I'm just supposed to find fluffs first, then I go searching. I don't know. Fluffs is always upstairs, and all the other times I've done this quest. Where is an upstairs here? Right here. There we go. Not search crate. Climb up the ladder. Is there are fluffs up here. I I can't see, but I don't see a fluffs. Oh, but there's another upstairs. Oh, wow. I'm gonna have to get close to my screen to see what the heck I'm looking at here. That that is definitely a blob. That's supposed to be fluffs. I just attempted to pick it up. Hurt me. It's thirsty. Oh no, let's give it milk even though it's lactose intolerant. Alright, now let's uh do this. I think we're supposed to like figure this out somehow, but you know. We we just know. There we go. Now the cat is scared of leaving. Now we have to go find the kittens, I assume. Hopefully there's nothing else we have to do there. Alright, so I think it's pretty much similar to how it's always been. You search the crates, one of them will have kittens. It's completely RNG. Cats purring. I wonder if that actually tells you that it's near. No, I, I doubt it. I think that's just trying to tell you you're on the right track searching crates. But you have to wait an extra second for it to say the stupid message. Faster if it didn't. You gotta be real careful to not miss any, because there's a lot more crates in this RuneScape Classic version of the Lumberyard. You don't have the sawmill or, like, uh, that woodcutting training method that they got in RuneScape 3 that I never really cared for that much. What if you have to search barrels as well? It might be. Oh! I found two kittens. I wonder if that's all the kittens, or if they're, like, separate. Fur with three R's. That is what happens when you examine them. Well, I'm sure Fluffs will be happy to have two kittens, and hopefully that will be enough. Okay, hello, Fluffs. Do I use the kittens on you? Yes. Oh. Okay, so now she's run off home. Now we have to run off. To the same home to get our own kitten. And along the way I need to remember to grab some sardines from the bank so that we can actually feed the dang thing because the last thing I want is for it to run away in the last hours of RuneScape Classic. That would be tragic, wouldn't it? Get a kitten in episode 9, lose it in episode 10. Alright, where is the stupid hole in this wall? It was over here, wasn't it? It not like right here I thought where am I oh no I'm on the south I thought For some reason I really have trouble keeping track of which cardinal direction I'm facing in RuneScape Classic I don't know why part of it is just not having a mini map open at all times this just looks crazy white border to the world Alright, let's uh, walk all the way back. This is the most frustrating thing this entire game, is having to walk everywhere. Okay. I've already decided the next quest, and likely the final quest I'll ever do in this game, unless something changes, will be a Monk's Friend. Which means I have to wander all the way over to Ardoin. It won't be fun, but I want to have at least footage of something over on that side of the map. So I'm definitely not going to have time to do everything. I figured I would do the one. Doing this quest for the interesting mechanics, and that quest just to see the land in the area. And it'll be gone forever. Sad, sad time. I never really cared for RuneScape Classic that much. Oh, wait, we need to go in the bank? Just because, you know, it's a little too classic for my tastes. If it had some quality of life updates, it would be a lot more entertaining. 
All right, so we want some shrimp. Um, how many do we want? I mean, we're not gonna need that many. Whatever, I'll take that many. I don't think I need my inventory space for anything else, really. All right, walking back over to Jude's house. I'm curious, they're shutting down both Funorb Orb and RuneScape Classic on the same day. I wonder if they ran on the same servers, or if they just chose that day to be convenient. A bit sad either way, I'd hope to get a lot more done in both of those things. But it didn't happen. Alright, there's Gertrude hiding in her backyard, strangely enough. It's completely fenced off. By the lowest fence ever. Hello, Gertrude. Fluffs ran off with her two kittens. You're back, thank you, thank you. Fluffs just came back. I think she was just upset, as she couldn't find her kittens. If you hadn't found her kittens, they'd have died out there. That's okay, I like to do my bit. I don't know how to thank you. I have no real material possessions, but I do have kittens. I can only really look after one. Well, it needs a home. I would sell it to my cousin in West Ardoin. I heard there's a rat epidemic there, but it's too far. Here you go, look after her and thank you again. Oh, she gave me some kitten food, apparently. Cool. Aw, oh, look at that kitten. Oh, we can stroke the kitten from the inventory. That's an interesting feature. What, can you not, like, actually have it out? What happens if you drop it? It ran away. Well, that that's that's the thing that happened. We get a new one. I'm okay, but I lost my kitten. That is a shame. As it goes, Fluffs just had more. I'm selling them at a hundred coins each. Ow. Oh. Why do I say an exclamation point? Well, I don't have a hundred coins. So no. No, no, no. I'll get a new kitten, and we will keep it with us. Do you actually have to feed it, then? I don't know. I don't know how kittens work. I, I was wondering how they worked, and apparently how they work is they're just, they're like a pet rock. Except even less interactive. Oh, well. Anyway, I'll see you guys next episode with the final quest. It's uh, interesting times ahead, as we have to travel over the mountain. Hopefully I don't die. I'm pretty confident. I'll get my prayer recharged and everything. See you then.